we're at the Beehive in London with Rick, and we're just hanging out. Actually, it was uh, totally unexpected to be here, and uh, Rick's been just one of the most amazing evangelists of our product, and uh, so I wanted to come out and visit him and just see where his magic happens every single day. And it's really, truly a magical place. I think if you love gear, this probably is one of the most gear-heavy places I've ever been in my entire life. We heard that this place was up for grabs. And it's, it's kind of a big hall. It's a big room for a live band. It used to be a church hall, kind of a village hall thing. In fact, the riser, the kind of stage area that the, uh, the drums are on, that's actually got a baptismal font inside it. It's got a little pool area no where way. you can get baptized yeah so you know we're very sort of spiritually sound in the studio um and it just seemed like the perfect place to come and do the next album in which is the the one that's just gone milo xylito so tell me about some of your favorite pieces of gear because i see so much of it around here maybe some, some gear that has interesting stories or unique sounds that have been created okay well this is my stereo bus stuff over here and that's basically the retro EQ on top, which is a recreation of like the Pultec. Um, Clarophonic EQ underneath, which is wicked. That's like a, it's got all your top end needs, all your high frequency needs. It's, it's got there in like two knobs, focus and clarity. Clarity is the really high stuff and focus is where the crack of your snare drum lives. So really every album just needs enormous focus and clarity. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you can see I'm sort of more clarity than focus at the moment. Maybe you just need uh, to go to the pub. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And then there's my favorite compressor at the bottom there, Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. Just kind of two compressors in one. And this is my favorite bit of studio kit. This, this is your Dave. studio assistant. Yeah, this is Dave. I'm trying to get Dave a mixing credit on the next album, actually. I oh, shit you not, because <laughs> um, she helps me out a lot. Is Dave a keep, member of any union? Keeps me from going. Well, she's talked about it, but yeah, Dave's a she, by the way. She's talked about it, but I don't think I don't think she's really uh, that serious about it. All right, well, that is the quick studio tour of where Rick does all of his magic. Goodbye from London. <laughs>